Hello friends, um, I'm back by skin of my teeth. Today has been an interesting day. Um, so we actually, let me just, let me fill you in. We were in Hawaii this whole last week, which is why I didn't post anything, not even a haul. Um, we were there Friday to Friday, so we just got home two days ago. It's right now, it's Sunday at 5.35. We got home on Friday. Um, so we're all still kind of like adjusting, obviously trying to get back into our routine. And then this morning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna film a, film a grocery haul, like get some videos recorded today. This morning, I, I, don't even, I don't even know what happened. I don't know if I got food poisoning. I don't know if it was like a bout of the flu. Like I have no idea, but I was throwing up and doing other um, unflattering things <laughs> for about six hours today. So I wanted to like get my stuff done when Daisy was napping, like be home around one, get all my shit done, do my meal prep. That didn't happen. My body had other plans. So I'm just glad I at least got the shopping done. Tomorrow's just gonna be, um, tomorrow's gonna be an intense day because I'm, we're going keto tomorrow. We're starting keto tomorrow. Obviously we were on vacation. We were eating junk all week. We were eating and drinking whatever we wanted, which was great. But, um, and it's nice to indulge, but we're ready to get back on it and we're going like full blown keto tomorrow. So, um, I have like fat bombs I need to make. I need to prep all my lunches. I'm not doing that tonight. It's just, it's too much. I'm honestly, from being sick this morning, I'm just exhausted. So with that being said, um, this was definitely a bigger grocery haul this week because we were gone for a week. So, um, I needed to restock a lot of my stuff and it was pricier because I had to buy like keto friendly stuff. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna show you my list, show you my haul, and then tell you how much I spent. All right, friends, this is my mess of a list this week. I have all my meals up here, um, lunches, the fat bomb recipe I'm using, and then everything that I bought. Um, it was kind of a hot mess because I we ended up going to Walmart. We got Daisy like a little trike thing. And so I knew we were gonna go to Trader Joe's then Walmart. So like some of this stuff, like all this shredded cheese, um, the coconut flour, uh, bread, like I knew all of that stuff would be cheaper at Walmart. So I ended up picking that up there and everything else I got at Trader Joe's. Let's start with produce. We have a head of lettuce. I'm doing open-faced burgers this week. So that's what that is for. Um, two tomatoes, bananas for Daisy, and mandarins for Daisy. Um, I haven't bought these in a while, but she used to love these. We'll see if she still does. <laughs> that you, you never know. Zucchini, um, I got two, a green and an orange bell pepper. Red onion, um, what do we have back here? Brussels sprouts, um, raspberries for Daisy. This is another one she used to love. She's having some right now for dinner and she's not, she's not into it, but um, We'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. Jalapenos, diced onion, and then some snow peas. I'm gonna throw actually the Brussels and the snow peas together and do the, that as like a side um, for one of my meals this week. Meat on meat on meat. We have a lot of meat um, this week. I was fresh out of bacon, so I picked up another one of those. Um, I'm doing like a kind of like a breakfast for dinner egg dish, um, and I'm gonna use this hot Italian sausage. Um, I got three three things of chicken thighs. I normally get this one. I don't really like to splurge on the organic, but Trader Joe's only had one of these left in stock. So I picked up this and then I picked up two, where's the other one? Two of, there it is. Two of the organic um, packs, that's for lunches. Um, I got two things of chicken breasts. Um, I picked up one and then forgot that I needed two, so I had to get the other one at um, Walmart. And then for the first time, I'm gonna try making keto pizza. Um, using the fat head dough, which is like a popular dough for keto recipes when you want something bready. So I picked up some pepperoni, so we're gonna do that. Um, freezer stuff. Restock Daisy on her pancakes. This is what she's having actually right now. Oh, I don't want to fall. Right now for dinner, um, butternut squash mac and cheese. I feel like I bought this last year for her and she liked it and she's liking it now. She's scarfing it down, so um, this, it looked really good. I wanted to eat it. When it came out of the microwave, it looks great. Um, I know this isn't freezer, but I just picked this up anyway. I mean, I just put it in my freezer stuff because freezer to me is kind of just stuff for Daisy. Um, honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. I feel like she's gonna like this because it's, it's cheesy and it's probably gonna be a little sweet. 
I checked the sugar on it because I thought, oh, I don't know. There's only three grams, grams of sugar, which is probably the norm when it comes to other ravioli um, that she eats from there anyway. And then I picked up this for her, the black bean and corn um, enchilada. She She's had bites of mine before, so I thought, eh, I'll just get her her own um, because I know she likes it. Beverages. Um, we're good on LaCroix, and Cernan has Spindrift in the fridge already, so I didn't need to get any of that. So I just got um, my good old Reliable Rosé that I normally get. And then this Prosecco, I don't think I've gotten this one before. I don't think I bought this one before, but they were out of, like, the one I normally get and then the backup one I get if that one's out. So um, I had to just kind of go out on a limb. And then Cernan wanted to try this, the um, Organic Cold Brew Coffee, the Trader, the Trader Joe's. Brand, we've tried the Stump Town, which we love, but we've never tried that one, so that'll be good. And then, like I said, I'm doing, oh, now we have aisle stuff, like canned stuff. I'm doing the Fathead Pizza, so I got pizza sauce. This is pretty low in sugar for a pizza sauce, three grams of sugar, it's five carbs, so you do have to watch like how much you actually use, but um, it's not bad. And then, um, why is this not focusing? Two things of diced tomatoes, that's for my lunch dish um, with those chicken thighs. They're gonna be in the Instant Pot with the tomatoes. And um, peanut butter, this is for the fat bombs that I'm gonna make. They're like peanut butter fluff fat bombs. Um, they sound really good. Some black olives, <clears throat> and then downtown with the pizza dough. I haven't mentioned it enough, but I needed coconut flour. Unfortunately, this was the, Trader Joe's doesn't carry coconut flour, or at least mine doesn't. Uh, and Walmart was out of like the cheaper, smaller one, so I had to get this massive $7 one. So I'm definitely like, for next round of groceries next week, I'm definitely gonna be looking up things I can make with coconut flour, because that is not a price that I wanted to pay. Um, all right, now we have snack stuff for Daisy. We have bread for her. This I actually got for Cernan and I. Tonight is like our last hurrah. Um, to just eat whatever we want. So I thought I would try this. It was in like their new section. Um, popcorn with vanilla glaze and sprinkles. Sounds amazing. I got two of these for Daisy. I've purchased these many a time before, just the straight up fruit bars. I used to buy these for her until it turned into like a battle because she loved them so much. I'm assuming because they're sweet that when they were gone, she'd have a meltdown. But I thought I would buy them for like a treat. Um, so we'll see if that works. They're just like pumpkin Nutri-Grain bars, essentially. Um, when we were on vacation, my niece eats Honey Nut Checks. So there was, Daisy had Honey Nut Checks every morning because she wanted what her cousin was having. Um, and she loved it. So this is gonna kind of be just like, you know, a snack thing that I carry around in my bag um, for her to munch on. So I picked up that. And then the last section we have is dairy. Um, a huge thing of half and half. Cheese to snack on for all of us for the week. Um, eggs that I got at Walmart, feta. Um, two things of cream cheese, heavy whipping cream. I got the bananas and cream and strawberries and cream yogurt for Daisy. Um, and then I got all my shredded cheese at Walmart, again, like I said when I was talking about my list, because it's so cheap. So I needed sharp cheddar, and then I needed two, two bags of uh, mozzarella. And yeah, that is, that is my haul for the week. I forgot one more thing. I picked up one of these. I don't know if you guys have seen these before at Trader Joe's. Last, well it wasn't last week, because last week we were in Hawaii. The week before that, when I went grocery shopping, I was checking out at the register and I could smell this. And I asked the cashier, what is that smell? Like, it smelled like straight up, like cinnamon sticks. Um, just very fall. And, they were, at, they were at the register and he said, oh, you haven't, you haven't heard of these before? Like these are really popular. We sell out of them every year. Um, they come out like, you know, like October-ish. Um, and essentially it's like a cinnamon whisk um, that you just put anywhere in your house to like make it smell like cinnamon. They're 99 cents. They sell one like this that looks like a whisk and then they sell a huge one that, that's like a broom size. And I think those ones are like 5.99, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna put it, down in my entryway um, 
our our condo you walk in and then you immediately walk upstairs and sometimes in that little entryway it gets kind of musty so i'm just gonna set it down there um but it smells so good so if you're looking for something to really make your home smell like fall um you know they always have those things on pinterest that you can like cook stuff on the stove to make it smell really nice and i light all my candles and everything like that but this is like next level oh my god it smells so good cinnamon it just smells like straight up cinnamon sticks um anyways so this week i spent more than normal i spent 120 at trader joe's and i spent 30 at walmart so 150 for the week more than i wanted to spend but not surprising considering we were out of town all last week so i didn't have like you know a lot of items where i'm like oh i have some of that left or i have some of that left it was like buy everything new so 150 um in terms of other videos this week i know i keep saying this but i'm really gonna try to get up two more videos my goal is tomorrow night to sit down and film two more sit down videos that will go up wednesday and friday don't hold your breath but i'm guys i'm trying i i mentioned this in my instagram um i think yesterday that i really got kind of like reinvigorated with youtube after this vacation like i just missed it uh, i didn't take my camera or anything but i just missed it like i missed filming for whatever reason i missed editing i don't know maybe it was just because i had nothing to do and we were really like relaxing and like i don't know i don't know why but i'm ready to kind of get back into the swing of things so that's my goal so keep an eye out um if you're not subscribed subscribe subscribe um turn on your notification bell and give this video a thumbs up also comment Ooh, here's another thing comment down below what seasonal products you like to get from trader joe's um like i'm gonna let you guys know how these are um obviously the pumpkin bars i love the pumpkin jojos like the oreos that they come out with obviously i'm not buying those because that doesn't fit in with our diet but um but comment down below and let me know what seasonal stuff you guys like and i will see you in my next video which will hopefully be on wednesday bye friends